What's up cool people, I'm Matt Conroy, welcome to another Top 10 Music Countdown, and this time around I'm going to be covering my Top 10 first tracks. So, if you buy a CD or get a whole album off of iTunes or whatever, the first song that appears in a particular album, those are the songs <laughs> that are in contention this time. Um, and as usual, it's kind of a combination of how much I like the song, and how much I feel like it kind of leads into the rest of the album, thematically, I guess. Not really a whole lot else to say. Um, obviously, there's the usual rule of only one song per band. And yeah, that pretty much covers it. So um, <laughs> here we go. Here are my top 10 first tracks. Got a red eye on, got a red eye on, I got a red eye on, gonna bring it on like a war machine. So a lot of these earlier entries are going to be based more on just how much I like the song, as opposed to how much I feel like it fits in thematically with the rest of the album, because I, I don't really know what to say in that regard when it comes to this song. Honestly, I just like the energy behind it. It gets me pumped up. I feel like I've mentioned in a previous countdown or two that I feel like it makes for a good workout song. But I mean, again, as far as album themes, I don't know what to say for this. So that's what gets this at number 10. I'm realizing I'm So Sick seems to be kind of a regular song <laughs> in my countdowns. It appears quite frequently in my countdown videos. But in any case, uh, something I realized I should have mentioned as part of my criteria for ordering these songs is like just how much I feel like the song has to be the first track on the album. Because like for this one, for example, I could not see this in any other track location in the album. At number eight, this song comes from the Cutlass album To Know That You're Alive, and I gotta say, this song, The Feeling, is just a great kickoff song to an album. Like, how do you not get pumped up and excited for the rest of the album after a song like this? Anyway, um, yeah, again, rocking out song, really awesome one that I really like. I also really like the drum part specifically on this, but anyway, details. Um, yeah, so that's what gets this at number eight on the countdown. Okay, I don't know about you, but if you ask me, any countdown that involves this song as a potential contender, like, I have to include this song. It's just that awesome. And it's that synonymous with rock music in general. Uh, the only reason it really hasn't appeared much in previous countdowns, honestly, is because this is a recent music purchase of mine, this album from Metallica. So anyway, awesome song. You should know enough about it to know why. So yeah, there's really not much more I need to say. Up next, we have Feel Invincible from Skillet, and I think this is where we're starting to get a little bit more into the album themes being more of a factor in song placement on the countdown. But anyway, yeah, this song just, I think, is a good description for the album as a whole, because it's talking about the power that we feel from God and how much he energizes us and gives us strength to go about our lives resisting sin and evil throughout the world, in essence. So, yeah, that and it's a rockin' song, so that's what gets uh, Feel Invincible in this spot on the countdown. And at number five, we have Adrenaline from Shinedown, and I think... 
you know, it's a obviously rocking out kind of song, but also in terms of album themes, I think it fits in because there are a lot of songs in this album that kind of deal with almost a fight or flight adrenaline based response to certain situations. So that's really the main factors that went into getting this song in its place on the countdown. So, Nightmare from Avenged Sevenfold also appeared in my title tracks countdown, and really, it's on this list for the same reason it was on that list. So, if you want to go back and watch that, uh, shameless plug, <laughs> feel free to watch my top 10 title tracks video, and yeah, really, it's just, it's a great song, <laughs> it's why it appears so regularly in my countdowns. Not much else I feel like I need to say, if you want to go back and watch the other one to get more of an explanation, then feel free. <laughs> I've said it before, I'll say it again, 10,000 Fists, both as the song specifically and the album as a whole, I feel like is really just about resistance, kind of protesting the system in a way. And I gotta say, when they did this song at the concert I went to, just seeing and experiencing it live was just freaking awesome. Like, I'm sorry, I could not help but get into it. Anyway, yeah, so, again, it's an awesome song, that's what gets it at number three on the list. At number two, we have another recent addition to my music collection, uh, Love Bites from Hailstorm. First off, I, I had this song stuck in my head for like a month straight, right around when it first was released as a single. I love to rock out to it. It's an awesome song. Lizzie Hale's voice is freaking amazing. And yeah, need I say more? Um, but again, the album as a whole kind of gets into some of those themes of kind of messed up relationships, honestly. So there's where it fits in thematically if you need that bit, too. And now, before we get to number one on this list, here are some honorable mentions. And at number one, we have Renegade from Daughtry, which I feel like is kind of my life's theme song, in a sense. Just if you were encompassing my whole life leading up to this point, I kind of take a middle of the road between Christian and non-Christian views. Because I'm not so, like, hardline on some issues as some Christians would like me to be. But at the same time, I'm way too Christian to be lumped in with a bunch of non-Christians. So... Yeah, just kind of running that renegade, road less traveled kind of vibe, I feel like fits in with my life personally, and also I think is how the song fits in with the album as a whole. It's also just a really great rocking out kind of song that I like. So that's really what all gets it at number one on this list. So there you have it. There are my top 10 first tracks. Uh, feel free to leave a comment down below with your top 10 first tracks, um, as well as other suggestions for other kind of countdowns I can do. If you want to keep track of me on various social media stuff, or just my videos on YouTube, all that stuff is going to be down in the description. And yeah, otherwise, I guess that's going to do it this time around. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Stay cool, people.